Let's have a sesh on the impact of technology on ways of working. So the two general impacts that we need to look at because of technology on the way we work is that it's increased speed and efficiency and it's allowed for the advent of remote working. We start with speed and efficiency. So generally speaking, technology, more technology, has increased the speed and efficiency of businesses. Examples, manufacturing. So manufacturing, we've seen an increased trend in the use of automation, getting robots to replace labour, capital to replace labour. And that's generally led to increased quantity or quality of production. Also, we've seen with business communication, we've now got video calls that we can do, shared documents, Google Docs, for example, and that's allowed for faster decision making because the workers don't need to be in the same office to make decisions now because they can do it through the technology that's available for communication. So generally, technology has allowed speed and efficiency to increase as in the case of manufacturing and business communication. But it's worth noting that it might lead to reduced motivation. It could be that you've got too many emails, excessive communication, and that in fact leads to lower productivity. It could be that reduced motivation comes from the fact that now you're using automation that suggests you're moving from job production to flow production, so workers, labour, may feel less motivated now and morale may drop. So there are possible disadvantages to the speed and efficiency point. On the other side, let's look at remote, remote working as one of those impacts on the ways of working. So remote working is the, essentially the ability to work without being in the office, without being in the office. Possible pros of that? Well, it might mean now that not all your workers are required to be in the office five days a week, 10 hours a day, or whatever it may be, that wider catchment for talent, <coughs> that a wider catchment for talent um, is available to you. You don't need to get workers that are just in your vicinity. You can open up the catchment area for your talent because they might be more willing to work for you if they only need to be in your office one or two days a week and the rest of it they can do through remote working. So it might increase because you've now got better talent, better workers, increase your quality, increase your productivity and possibly increase your overall revenues because of these, this better workforce that you've got. Um, it might also encourage the use of freelance contracts because now that you can allow your business to use remote working, that you could get specific skill sets for certain projects and that could ultimately reduce your costs because you don't need to employ a full-time um, worker. Number three is that employ workers in new countries may allow business to access new markets because now through remote working, it could allow you to grow internationally and access new markets because you've got the ability to employ people in other countries through remote working. And that could lead to you tapping into new market and increasing your revenue. The fourth one is that in the case of remote working, it may lead to less workers in the office because if you have what's sometimes called hot desking, where workers, um, Barry will work Monday and Tuesday in the office, Julie will work Wednesday and Thursday in the office, and Fred will work on Friday in the office, where well, you've got this kind of revolving carousel of workers in the days they go to the office, and that means that you need less workers in your office so you can rent a smaller office space. And because you're renting a smaller office space, it could lead to less overhead costs and overall less costs. Less costs is a good thing. So it could be an efficient way to run your business, cost effective. But also with remote working, we need to think about if the proportion of remote workers is well above, well exceeds the physical workers that are there all the time, well, that could cause problems. Could cause problems to team morale, and it also could increase the chance of miscommunication. Because in that example before, we've got someone in on Monday and Tuesday, someone in on Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe they're only ever really communicating through technology and never face-to-face, -face, and that could cause that problem in terms of miscommunication. So I hope that helps on the impact of technology on the ways of working, and I'll see you at the next sesh.